everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your All Signs Collective Reading. We're going to see what energy comes through for you. So with that, let's just uh, get started here. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with Collective? What's coming through for the Collective in Love? What do they need to see? Interesting. Okay, I get two energies here with this. I'm going to put that card down and I'm going to pull one of these cards as well. Or let's just pull four cards with this. Okay, now it becomes more clear. All right. I feel like there is someone that you dated in the past. And I feel like this is somebody you were with in the past. Either it was a short-lived connection, meaning maybe you dated, maybe it was just casual and things fizzled out. Or I'm going to say you could have ended things with this person because this was somebody who you just felt was a player or somebody you felt wasn't serious, you know, or they could have been the one here to ghost or something happened, okay? Well, surprise, surprise, this person is spying on you. You got social media and you have adventures. So I'm getting that this person is spying. They may even be, now this is if you're on social media. If you're not on social media, this just could be somebody who is thinking about you, reminiscing. They may even try to figure out on your friend's social media you know, what you've been up to, what you're doing. So they could be looking at your friend's profiles if you don't have a profile. Um, and if you do have any social media, they may be looking at yours and your friends to try and figure out what you're doing, okay? So they may be seeing that maybe you're going out or having fun or they have some sort of inclination. And it could even be through your friends if they know your friends. Now, you have the grass is greener and you also have your calmer waters. So I definitely get a, a note, an energy of you haven't heard from this person in a while. This is quiet times and you have the grass is greener. So that tells me that this is somebody who maybe thought the grass was greener. They may have, you know, pursued somebody else or another option. But I feel like this is someone who realizes, oh, the grass wasn't greener. You also have here secret crush. And you also have here having fun. I can't even pronounce that word, so I never even try. <laughs> but this is somebody who's crushing on you right now. And I feel like, too, they may even feel that somebody new is in your life. You know, like I said, if they can even spy on your social media. Or they must, may just see you in a place of having fun. Or maybe they think somebody's new in your life. We're going to see when we pull the tarot. And then you also have here faded meeting. And you also have here bank, uh, back and forth. So this is someone I feel in the past who is very uncertain with you. Um, I do feel that this is somebody that you are fated to encounter again. So whether you run into this person now or whether... You know, this is an on and off energy and now this person is realizing that, you know, the grass wasn't greener. I'm going to say here too, I'm also getting an energy for some of you that this could be somebody you, you may run into when you're out and about. That could be why they're going to be crushing on you. Take it how it resonates because everybody's going to be in a different place in their love life. So let's pull the tarot. Let's see what else comes through. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with the collective? What else does the collective need to know about this? Okay. 
yeah, definitely picking up a past person, somebody you've spent time with. Quite a few major arcana cards are showing up here in your reading. Wow, yeah, see we got one, two, three, four already out of eight cards. Oh wow, look at this, bottom of the deck here. Oh my gosh, you have the Ten of Pentacles and you also have the Four of Wands. And the next card is the Ace of Pentacles. What's going on here? Let's see. Okay, so you got the Six of Swords and you also have here the Star card. So what this tells me is that this person's coming your way. This person still has some hope. Like I said, they could be crushing on you. Um, they could be spying on you. Um, coming from a distance, somebody who still has hope in this connection. And for this reading, I'm just gonna call out the strong signs. I get strong Aquarius, Libra, Leo. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. So just because I don't call out your sign doesn't mean that your person's not showing up here or this per someone you know. Tell me more about the star card. We want to see what the hope is here. Tell me more about the star card. Can also be healing. Okay, you got celebration. See, that's what I'm saying. This may be somebody who is seeing you uh, having fun or going out with friends, um, but it also talks about happy times. So that could be the hope here of you and this person connecting again, going out, having fun. You do have expectations. So this may be somebody who realizes now that you have certain expectations because obviously in the past, if this is someone who was, you know, flighty or somebody who was uncertain in the past, things did not move forward with you because look, you have empowered love. So I feel like you're really empowered now. And this talks about harnessing your strength and love with confidence. So they see you right now as a solid person, very grounded person, somebody who may be charming, um, I definitely do get a beautiful energy here or a very attractive energy. And, you know, this person may be seeing you as just doing very well in your life. And they may be seeing that because you set an expectation with this person. Now, you have justice here. Wow. And you have the king of pentacles. Could tell me there is an offer here. Justice could be somebody wanting to make something right with you. Tell me more about justice. Oh, yes. Yes. So I feel like since you've been with this person, this is somebody who has evolved. They've learned something. Could be a spiritual lesson that they've learned. I'm going to say with justice, there could have been some karma that this person had to go through to make them evolve. Um, but it talks about growing apart or getting some space to think. So this person has had some time to think about you. And what I like here is you have the control card and this is somebody stepping up. This is somebody taking responsibility. So they're either taking responsibility for the past actions or this is somebody who's taking responsibility based on how they feel about you. So I feel like this is somebody who is coming towards you who's going to want to try and steer this connection in a new direction. And you also have here divine match. This is soulmate twin flame energy. So it does feel like this person with the king of pentacles here has a lot more to offer than maybe they offered in the past. Now, you have the strength card here and you also have the wheel of fortune. So maybe somebody in the past who had a bit of ego or let their pride get in the way. 
you know, that could be here the spiritual life lesson for this person because with the wheel here can also talk about karma and this person having the strength and courage to do something to step up to steer things in a new direction let's clarify that strength card thank you spirit why is strength here please why is strength here please Yep, look at that. Wow. So they're finding the strength. This is what they're doing to step up. You have uh, communi or you have two sides and you have love stories. And this really talks about this person having the courage now to come towards you to say what they need to say. This talks about truth talk. Some of you may have given this person some tough love if there was some sort of conflict in the past or argument in the past with this person this is somebody who is navigating how to come towards you to clear something up maybe they want to tell you their side of the story maybe it was a time in their life where they weren't in a place where they could be in a serious connection or relationship but the courage here, I feel here, is, is around the expression. This person being vulnerable with you and being able to share their feelings openly with you. So they have a lot to say and a lot to express is what I'm picking up here. It can also talk about being honest. And uh, with that justice energy, definitely can tell me this person is coming towards you wanting to be open and honest with you see i feel like you know maybe this person had to go through some sort of spiritual lesson to realize that you know some things needed to change maybe some things within them needed to change like I said, the grass definitely was not greener. You have uh, the Six of Cups and you also have here the Seven of Pentacles. See, this person is thinking about you. There's something here, either they felt that, you know, they invested time with you and they're thinking about those memories and how special those memories are. For others, it could be that this person wants to invest in you. They want to make new memories with you because they feel this energy with you with the faded meeting that they know that they met you for a reason. Now, some of you, you know, they could be somebody who had to go through some stuff to really mature or to be ready for a relationship. And that could be why they're thinking, wow, maybe it was meant to be that I met this person because this person really helped me figure out who I am and, and where I am in my life. For others, it just could be that they feel something very strong and very familiar about you. But let's see uh, why this Seven of Pentacles is here. Tell me more about this Seven of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. You got the winding road on the bottom of the deck. This is somebody finding their way back to you. I feel like this is somebody who... The fine romance, somebody very attracted to you but it's also somebody coming back you know you see a wedding ring here or an engagement ring this is somebody you know this is what the seven of pentacles i said they somebody who wants to invest in you so now this is somebody looking at you as somebody for long-term potential where in the past i feel like this person was very casual or maybe they treated it as a friendship but see again you have the ten of pentacles and you have the four of wands this person's coming towards you a bit more serious than they were in the past you have timeless elegance this really talks about confidence and standards so i do feel like they're seeing your energy very empowered and that you do have standards but it's somebody too it's a timeless elegance no matter how much time has passed this person has never lost 
that inner love feeling for you. Okay, I'm hearing that song. Um, I don't know, I'm hearing you've lost that loving feeling, but it's like the reverse here. This person hasn't lost that loving feeling for you. Okay, so maybe they're feeling like you've lost that loving feeling for them, but you have hidden desires. Okay, so this is someone, okay, now this could tell me that the reason why there has been distance or this person thought the grass was greener, this could be somebody who was tempted by somebody else in the past is what I'm getting here. That was the separation or the distance here. But I feel like this is someone now, it took this person going on a different path and it feels like a path that didn't work out because the grass wasn't greener and there was a spiritual lesson that this person learned with you. I'm going to pull some Kipper cards and some love notes and we're going to see what else comes through. What else can you share with the collective? Please share with the collective what they need to know about this. Toil and labor. Some of you may even work with this person. So I definitely feel this person is a little bit hesitant, I feel, to make a move because I see here adjudication, which is judgment, and you have the pathway. They're not too sure if the door is open with you or not. They're not too sure if you're going to say yes to them. But I feel like this person is coming towards you. That's probably why they are spying, trying to figure out what you're doing. They don't know. Maybe you, you're with somebody else or you're dating somebody else. What love notes do we have from this person to you? Oh my gosh, I was just talking about it. The thought of you with someone else drives me insane. You are the one that I've been looking for my whole life. I wish things were different between the two of us. My heart is yearning for you. This is so hard for me. I am struggling because they hate the distance between the two of you. And sometimes I stare at my phone and I become stuck. Bottom of the deck, you have, you make my heart skip a beat. I get butterflies whenever we talk. I hear a million voices in my head telling me the things I should have said. So you got this person looking back now, kind of regretting um, that they didn't choose you, I feel. But I feel the energy now is they are choosing you. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.